we're just a football team trying to play football, man. Um, like I said, there's some football games to be played for the rest of the season. We're just trying to play them, no distractions. So, you know, we just coming in every day. You know, mind's clear, focusing on football, just trying to win some games. I mean, how you, anything you said to you guys before you took off? Mm, not that I remember. It was mostly a, a athletic director, uh, Damon, and everything that came in. So, uh, you know, that was, that was it. When's the last time you were able to speak with him? During meetings when he came back, um, he said, how am I doing? I said, I'm good. We're in meetings, so I was trying to get to the next meeting. Um, man, yeah, yeah, that was it. In terms of this week, is, does this feel like more normal or what you've gone through? As, and, and how tough was last week with all the distractions, with, with the term, you know, DJ coming back and everything going on here with the team? We've done well with, um, you know, avoiding distractions. Um, whether you guys think that on the field or not when we play, um, you know, we're just trying to just play football. You know, we don't really want to be distracted by everything that's going on because there's been a lot that's gone on the past five months. Um, so, like I said, it's, we're just trying to play football and not have the whole world looking at us in a negative light. So, uh, just want to play football. I mean... I kind of, my own business, show up the meeting, show up the practice, show up to the game. Um, so it's more of a just focusing on the next game. That's how it's always been since, you know, since camp. Execution. I mean, last week against Michigan State, we didn't, there's a lot of times that when I was on the sideline, you know, um, there's a few things I could see that we didn't execute well. Um, even coach, you know, pointed it out, obviously. Um, when you take a step forward, you can't take two steps back. So that's essentially that what, that's what happened. And we got to make sure that doesn't happen this week. I've heard of people learning by watching from the sidelines sometimes. Do you learn from watching the game? Oh, of course. I mean, you see that's different than being in the game? You know, you just being, or being able to read tendencies better from the sideline than when you're on the field because you have 11 guys in front of you, whereas you can see offense and defense from the sideline. Um, it's just being able to just know what's going on, you know what plays going on on offense, seeing what the defense is running, and just being able to pick off the tendencies and how players are playing. So while you might think of technology as being secondary to your core business, the reality is that without it, many companies would find themselves at a complete standstill. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. We'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and the full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Yes, sir. What was that like? It was horrible. I was just like, man, what am I doing? It was, I hated it, but, you know, it was just a decision between the coach, trainers, and myself, and, you know, so... Mm -hmm. in, in terms of the way Coach Cannon has handled this whole thing, he, does he need the senior leadership just as much as you need the coach? I mean, is, there, is, it, is it a sort of a collective effort to just keep this thing together with the players, especially the you know, the, the older guys involved in that? Oh, definitely. It's a give and take kind of situation. Coach Cannon has done a phenomenal job. Um, he came in when Coach Durkin was, you know, put on administrative leave. And he took that job without any hesitation, you know, and he's done a great job coaching us, bringing us together as a team. And, you know, we as a team respect Coach Canada. We love him. And, you know, we're just still just trying to play football. We're still under his leadership. And, you know, just trying to get six wins, seven wins, maybe eight wins, go to a bowl game, get another one, you know, so, you know. Even though you're not going to be here next week, you'd like to see him get the job? I like him a lot. Um, so. You know, that's obviously not my decision, but, you know, I, I can't really, like, I would love to see him here because when I come back and everything, but it's ultimately not my decision. That's on the school and whatnot. Did you watch the defense? Or did you, this game you, our defense? 
Oh, yeah. Tell me what stands out about our defense and what you would think somebody would say is the high points. Defense. Our defense is really good. Um, it's just the offense has to take the responsibility of keeping them off the field at times. Um, you know, when you have the defense out there that's dominating you, they can only dominate for so long before they get tired. And that's when teams can take advantage of any team. If your offense can't get anything going, give the defense a break. Um, our red zone defense is great. And, you know, I went, now I see why, you know, in practice why they stop us so many times. Um, and you see, you know, Trey Watts and Darnell Savage, you know, uh, Adam McClain, Byron, all them guys are just dominating. So you get to see that from, you know, the sideline. It's, it's great. Does missing more for time your mindset going into another game when you miss a game for the first time? Does that make you hungrier, angrier, uh, more motivated? A little bit. Of one game? A little bit of both. I mean, you want to be out there to be able to contribute at all times. Um, yeah, I was angry because, you know, we definitely have the team to be able to go out there and win and everything. Um, so this week, you know, it's just make sure I'm staying healthy day by day and contribute as much as possible, regardless if I'm running the ball passing or pass blocking, sorry, um, special teams. So it's just being able to contribute as much as possible. How much do you think your opinion is like Rodney Hill? There's a hundred guys on the team. There's a hundred different opinions. Um, there's some guys that probably agree with me. Some guys that probably don't. But I, the rest of the team, respect each other's opinions. So um, you know, it's kind of hard to vouch for a hundred guys. Maybe I can vouch for a few guys, but um, uh, to vouch for a hundred guys, it's, it's impossible for me to tell you that. Um, so it's just we respect everyone's opinion. Everyone's going to have it no matter what. Thank you, Ty. Mm -hmm.